The phosphorus cycle is how phosphorus obviously cycles its way through the environment, both through the biotic mechanisms, i.e. like when plants take it in from the soil, and abiotic mechanisms, like when rocks are weathered and eroded and uh, give off their uh, inorganic phosphates into the water. So phosphorus typically is used in biological systems as phosphate. It's an important ingredient in things like DNA, ATP, phospholipids, etc. Let's take a look at this diagram over here and we can see how the phosphorus cycle works. It begins when rocks, which have phosphorus somehow in their makeup, have water and other chemicals erode them or weather them. And then by runoff, they wind up with the phosphates in the water and ultimately can, that runoff can uh, take the phosphates into the soil. Once it's in the soil, plants can absorb the phosphate and incorporate it or assimilate it into their tissues. Then animals come along, they eat the plants, and then they can access the phosphate in that manner. When they die, decomposers can break down the phosphates that are in the animals or in the plants and return that phosphate to the soil where it can be picked up again by the plants. Now sometimes if there's sufficient uh, runoff, say there's rain falling onto the soil, you can wind up leaching that into the water while sometimes waterways can send uh, phosphate into the soil by letting it enter into the groundwater. In water bodies, ultimately you'll start having sedimentation occur as, some, as you get the buildup of the phosphate, it'll start binding to other things and forming solid precipitates. And this will ultimately return the phosphate into the geologic strata as you form new sedimentary rocks, thus restarting the phosphorus cycle.